Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have a beautiful Chandis game with an abundance of resources and a big question on our mind, which was how many five stars are we going to take before shooting for sixes? And we shoot for fives and we get a hold of a brand and we go, all right, now we can then cycle those triples over and over again via the alley cat and see if we want to take six stars. What's a great six star to pair with Bran? The tried and true old strat of Bran Calicos. Get to go to six aggressively, get a hold of a couple extra battle cries, maybe generate off a witch wing or something, and suddenly your board is crazy strong. Get a swappable minion such as Murazund or Amalgadon, along with that Bran, and uh, you know where this goes. This is old school dragons. This is the new Terracosa promo drake stuff. But you can always put those promo drakes on the board because they are immediate stats and they make turning into dragons a much, much safer ordeal. It's beautiful, actually. All right. Enjoy. All right, we got this. Believe. Easy clap. Could just be all six stars too. We're at 30. I think it's a mama bear. I believe in the mama bear. Interesting, actually. Now we might be able to get away with pale scale plus brand plus take triples in the sixes. I don't like it, personally. Alright. We didn't get what we were looking for. Mama Bear and Pale Scale are too good here. Let's not throw just to get a hold of the fucking six star. I don't want to lose that badly. It's close, you know, like it's super close. You can take damage. You'll take like 15 here and then you get to take two sixes. Like the upside is so low compared to the downside.
Mura first, you get Chad. Doesn't matter. Doesn't affect anything. And I want to see what my six is. Say, for example, we, I don't know, get Calicos. Old Chad? Sure. New Chad? Nah. No reason to check. Like we already had a tabby cat on the board. But there's no upside, right? Like we know what his board is exactly. And none of those minions are things that we want before the triple. Yeah, old Chad with like being able to take four, four tokens. Sure. We could have played for the, the pivot. New Chad, all it is is just one extra token there. And that has to sell a minion off the board that we don't want to sell. All right, we're on five. We have Bran, Mura swap every turn for Calicos right now. Was Wolf no option to too slow? It's uh, it's fine. It's not even too slow. It's I This is slower than that. This is much slower than that. But rather... That's a good hit. We didn't lose our Leapfrogger up front. No. Boo. Go left. Go right. Go right. Hey. Or rather, this has a better future. We have the ability to swap a premium unit on a brand board with a Calicos. Like, just fought this. No battle cries, so it's not that great. But still. Nice hit. It's a nice hit. No. Sure. Meh. I was wondering if I was going to keep this around. Could be yes, could be no. It's pretty close. Like a bad dragon here. Guess we look here. Most likely it sells. Yeah, it definitely sells. We can do better. That is better. Should we try to milk this? Or do we need to play for power? One turn eight. This is a dairy stream, right? Yeah, turn eight seems okay here. At least we can get one free battle cry off the witch wing. It's kind of hard for this to die. Unless we wanted to put it out in front and then buff the Witch Wing. Seems a little bit too much to me. Go left. Hey, look at that. Still got, we got second Mura. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I know where this game's going. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just all battle cries right now. Or we try to level. Also has Mura, yeah. Let's get lucky. Kind of want to level. So be it. It's 
That's why we leveled first. There's one one elemental that's good on six. Just hit it. Worry about it next turn? We can swap it too. We have double Murra on the board. Find a triple Murazin. We find ourselves a Calicos. We find Nadina. You know what we're doing. This guy's got the premium new fangled version of this composition. We just have this, this piddly ass same promo drakes but no permanent scaling version of it. I don't like you. With your new fangled version of this, it scares me. It's different. I really want Murrah <laughs> to, to work now. We have a 33% of a triple off Murrazin. Alright, well. So we'll do this first. No more triple opportunity. We got the triple naturally. This is dumb. Ugh, Bob. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Golden promo Retericos is on his board. <laughs> um. All right, I'm going to do this. All right? For the adapt. You can do it. Hey, golden promo. We'll take the promo. Promo's fine. How about the Terracosa? For sure? <laughs> How about the Calicos? Oh my god, what am I doing? I can't drop this, right? We got a lot of future, a lot of time before we need that Nadina. I think we just all in on stats. We swap a Malgadon and we find Nadina eventually. It's either that or you don't use the the extra battle cry and two adapts on a Malgadon. We have a long time till we actually need Nadina now. Stats best play turn 10. Yeah, I don't want to sell it, but I sat there for a second. I was like, I got to play it instead of explaining it. It's between Nadina or not use the extra 12 to or 14, 14 to the board and two adapts. I like this line personally, but I can see how it would be debatable. Hmm, one, two, three, four. Do that. Swap the golden Murrahs and Bofer. <laughs> Weak. Terrible turn. We only had one battle cry on each of those boards. If there were two, we would have swapped. Tolerable. We'll leave it there. We'll play for the golden Calicos eventually, and if we do not get it, which is fairly likely. Then instead of the Golden Calicos, we could sub out the Little Calicos instead of Amalgadon, or we could play for uh, Nadina, or we could play for Presters. All of which could be board upgrades right now. Poison win. Might get lucky and get Poison. If not, we may not keep this thing. That's another option too. Right now it's getting one Adapt a turn. It's about a 1 in 6 to get Poison. 7 Adapts, right? And it's already gotten Wind Fury and... Uh, Divine Shield, so it's actually 1 in 5. 1 in 5 every turn to get Poison. We killed a 31 HP Chinvala. Yeah, we're high rolling really hard right now. It's hard not to take the just put all the stats on the board line. 
keeping Nadina cost us stats, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> to just take the stats. Fuck Nadina, we don't need her right now. We're good. Wow, this mill house was close. Eye rolls are high in this game right now. We need more plants? More plants? What are plants? All three stat lines are an option at this point, and so is taunt. And poison. So it's one in six right now. We don't have taunt on it, which is the other one you can only get once. Not max damage? Damn. Close. Dude, don't swap here or swap here. And it's perfectly fine to just take the the stats. And we'll just roll for a better board. Now I mean I should hold this. But we're in the last two turns. Yeah, we're definitely freezing for that. We're in the last two turns. How about we don't? The <laughs> well, last three turns, maybe. I'm just going to play the line that puts a million stats on the board. Now, if he has a bunch of... Uh... A bunch of, like, Nadina plus had Presters or whatever. Got there from three turns ago. We can still lose to it. I'm just not going to make that read, I don't think. I know this thing gets scaling, blah, 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 blah. I want to get the minions on the board to have a fair amount of stats across the board. This one's going to get value traded now, though. That sucks. I need this to just kill this, or the Divine Shield gets to it. Both of which are bad hits for us. Eek. Kind of high rolled all of the hits there. That was a good hit though. We're good. He gone. Probably should have switched uh, so we double buff the Divine Shield. And then move Calicos 1 to the left. So you just put Murrahs in 7 or 6. I'm never going to match the stats that's on his Terracosa because we already saw what it was before. So we don't want to throw all the stats in this and then it just gets value traded. The goose! Hmm. <laughs> Still no poison. No taunt either. Just failing. You ever want Presters over a Myxna? Don't think so. How many plants? All of the plants. That's only one plant. This has a lot of stat buffs. One, two, three, four, five, six stat buffs. No, five stat buffs. I don't think Divine Shield's the worry. We just all in stats on board. Position one this. Play this back. Worry about overkill now. I say we need more plants. Or you said you need more plants. He listened. Could be. We're maxing out power here and not scaling. How dare you value trade? How dare you? All right. Well, this was a uh, this was a something. Damn, one short. Twenty five. I, for one, believe. 
that we are going to get this. Poison is inevitable. Like Thanos. One dollar he concedes? A big bet. Nope. I'll be still in it. Still in there. He believes. Hey, poison. We got poison. Good shit. Tough game. Yeah, I mean, we just got the Calicos with the Baran and we're like, yep, that'll work. Then we just leveled the six and swapped every turn. One channel point if he concedes. One dog pet if he concedes. How about one dog pet if he doesn't concede? M can get all the petting. Is this YouTube Bofer? Could be. I'll bet one pet that he is suddenly Ysera as a hero. Well, he turned to, to, to Kel or Kel'Thuzad, so you guys won. You're right. I guess I'll pet my dog. He also isn't Ysera, so I'll also pet my dog. Oh, too bad. I lost the bet. I had to pet my dog. Well, in that case, hi, YouTube. Yo, Dane Glee says, hey, YouTube, wave back, everybody, all the YouTube people, wave it dangly in the comments. <laughs> How do you spell dangly? I'm not going to tell you. So all the comments are just like random spelling of the word. All right. Yeah, because you're the chat isn't in the in the YouTube video. So we'll see how this one goes. All right. Well, that was a good one. That was a fun game.